So somehow spring just crept up on us like super quick. Uh, last year, it was like freezing cold at this time of year, at least where I live, but it started to get into the 80s. It was like 21 degrees the other day and now it's like 85. So I figured it would be the perfect time to do a spring list. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about five of my fave, uh, fave, five of my favorite blue fragrances to wear during the spring. So without further ado, let's get it. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, AKA Fragrance Dude, back with another list to talk to you guys about five of my favorite blue fragrances that I like to wear more during the spring than any other season. They are my fave. No, <laughs> but uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and if you will follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I would greatly appreciate it. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers. By the time I post this, we might be, who knows? So I wanted to appreciate you guys and thank you guys all for all of your hard work and watching my videos. Uh, so we're just gonna start out today um, with blue fragrances. These aren't necessarily all designer. I did add one niche into this. It, I didn't really have a plan for it. I knew I wanted to do a spring list, so I separated it into two. I'm doing one list of five of my favorite uh, 10 out of 10 spring fragrances and five of my favorite blue spring fragrances and then I'll do five of my favorite green spring fragrances once I have five fragrances that are green um, but anyway I actually went through my collection and realized that I hardly have that many green fragrances I mean it is I have a lot of spring fragrances I just don't have a lot of green fragrances they're really hard to come by I have like Polo Cologne Intense, Imaginary Authors, Saint Julep um, Lolita Lempica Green Lover, but I can't really think of any other than that. Anyway, so we're talking about blue fragrances today. Uh, blue fragrances are your aromatic fragrances that have your uh, sages, your lavenders, or your juniper berries, stuff like that, that most of the time have a blue bottle as well, and they're going to be ones that you can wear in pretty much any season. And while these are no exception to that, I like to wear them in the spring. Starting out with the first one, this one gets compared to Aqua de Jo Profondo all the time, and I can see exactly why that is. I put this on the list instead of Profondo because I talked about Profondo being one of my favorite rainy day scents the other day, and this one is less expensive by Azaro. It is Chrome Extreme. It was my favorite chrome for years. Now Chrome Parfum has overtaken that, and Chrome Parfum will be in my top five green fragrances to wear during the spring because it is more of a green fragrance. Uh, so this one, again, compared very much to Aqua de Jo Profondo. It's a green mandarin, sea salty, um, marine, aromatic fragrance that you get some of that green mandarin in the opening you get some sea notes wafting through there you definitely smell the aqua de jo profondo with a little baby bit of that chrome dna sweetness that you get that provides almost that kind of thick aromatics that you get from it but you definitely notice the green mandarin. You notice that there is that green tinge that you get from the Aqua de Jo Profondo that makes it stick out in the line as the more greener of the two big fragrances, the Profumo and Profondo. Um, then you also do get some juniper in the fragrance that even provides more of that green edge. And then as you get to the dry down, you get some amber that pulls in, providing again, that little bit of sweetness you get from the chrome DNA. And again, it is more of a citrus aromatic that comes through. It has a slight bit, a bit of citrus with those aromatics. And then you also get that marine accord that is surrounding the entire fragrance. This fragrance lasts six to seven hours. Doesn't go any more than that. Doesn't go any less. Usually it's around six. Um, more of a spring fragrance because of those green edges but again this is a blue fragrance that just has a green edge to it i wouldn't consider it a full green fragrance at all in my opinion uh chrome extreme is fantastic it's just one that you can wear in pretty much any situation and people are not going to tell you you smell bad but they are going to probably say you wearing aqua de jo because that's what this smells like aqua de jo profondo um and that is chrome extreme and now I'm gonna transition from Chrome Extreme into one that is a little bit greener, but still compared to that. 
and a little bit of a take on the Profondo because this is Aqua de Joe Profondo Lights. Aqua de Joe Profondo Lights is a very, very easy fragrance to explain now that I have explained Profondo in Extreme. Take that, make it a slight bit fresher, and then add in a little bit more of the green because you add in some rosemary, you add in some cypress, and there was cardamom, but that maybe I don't remember all the notes. I don't have like a notes listed in my head, but I remember there's rosemary and uh, cypress that are in the fragrance that provide more of that green edge to it. So the best way to put it, it still has that aquatic marine texture to the fragrance. Um, with that say, I always say texture, but it's not like you're feeling it. It has that aquatic marine smell, that fragrance to it, um, mixed with those aromatics and slight citrus tones. And then you just have this green edge revolving around it that is even more of a green edge than you get in this or Profondo because it just amps up the rosemary, adds in some cypress, and that is what you have. A little bit more woody in the dry down as well. Doesn't last as long, it's more around a five hour fragrance, but I prefer to wear this over any of those in the spring because to me, out of the Aqua de Joe line, if I'm gonna wear one, Profondo Lights is for me. I save Profondo for rainy days. That's my favorite rainy day Aqua de Joe. Uh, going into the third one. The third one here is a European exclusive that you can find on a lot of discounters. It is the one that I like to wear the most in the spring. There is a summer flanker that is mostly for the summer. And for me, this one is mostly for the spring, even though again, it's a blue fragrance and you can wear it all year by Yves Saint Laurent. This is YSL Y Live. I love this entire line, as you guys know, and this is my number two, maybe number one in the line. This one, hand in hand with the Y Lay Parfum are my favorites. So the uh, YSL Y Au Fraiche is the summer flanker. It's that kind of lemonade style fragrance, like a Dior Homme Cologne with juniper. This one also has that juniper in it and it has this orange blossom that provides this sweet floral. And you have, it's the more bubblegummy sweet of the line, while not actually being a bubblegum sweet fragrance. It's if you took YSL Y Eau de Parfum, took away that really heavy apple, that like headachey vibe, even though some people love it, I totally understand, and mix that with something like an Invictus style fragrance. While it's not going to be a full Invicta style bubblegum sweet fragrance, it is YSL Y if you add a portion of those bubblegum sweet fragrances because you have that sweet floral and that juniper that really do provide more of that sweet fruitiness to it. And that is why I really love this. The new YSL Y Eau de Parfum Intense came out in the first 10 minutes, smells very similar to this. It has that semi uh, fruity, semi bubblegummy sweet fragrance uh, in the opening 10 minutes and I loved it. And then it gets more woody, aromatic, and just more of the basic, more mature DNA that you get in more of the wise, just basic. Um, I still like that, but I prefer this more because it stays and keeps that fruity semi-sweetness through the entire fragrance. Um, it's just a different style. I mean, it's still aromatic. It's still, um, citrus it's still going to be your mass appealing blue fragrance you're just going to get a slight if you want the best of both worlds the best of a blue and the best of a bubblegum sweet and you throw them together this is actually probably the best one that does that to be honest with you i don't know many other fragrances out there that do the blue and bubblegum mix together and do it well i mean there's like uh, ralph's club stuff like that but i still think that ysl y live is the best of that whole realm you get eight to nine hours of projection with this just like uh none of the other ones in this line actually uh yeah now that i think about it it's only other one other one that lasts that long so why sell why live even though you can wear it all year round i find because of that sweetness spring is the best time to wear it because you get that blue for the heat and then you also do get that um sweetness that you can wear that allows it to be that mass appealing anytime style fragrance. So that is why I sell Y Live. And if you find it on Joma Shop, I think it's like 85 bucks. I posted a link and I'll probably post it again. So going into the niche of the line, this one is definitely my spring style fragrance. 
It reminds me of a lot of designers, but I think it's better than any of them. A lot of people will always say, you shouldn't buy this because it smells like blah, blah, blah. I disagree. I think it's better than all of them. Higher quality, better blended. This is by Parfums de Marley. It is Percival. Really nice bottle, as is all of them. They're really hefty. So, Parfum, Parfums de Marley Percival. And if you see the trend with all of these, all of them are a citrus, aromatic, some juniper, some sage, some lavender, whatever it might be. This one is an amber woody heavy version of those citrus aromatic style fragrances. So it's gonna have that blue DNA with there's some lavender, there's some sage in here. It's gonna have some citruses in here. There's a lemon and a bergamot, I believe. I know there's bergamot. I'm not sure if there's lemon. I know there's a little bit of a citrus medley, uh, but it's definitely bergamot heavy. Uh, you get that lavender right in the opening as well. The lavender does become more prominent as you get further into the fragrance and as does the amber and woods. So in the opening, you wouldn't think it's an amber woody style fragrance, but after about 20 minutes when it starts to settle and that citrus tone starts to dissipate into the background, that's when the amber and woods and musk really do show their face and it becomes more of a amber woody heavy fragrance because they have amber wood and ambroxan in this fragrance which really do show their face later in the fragrance you do get the ambroxan more in the opening that gives a bright woods um and that's pretty much it i believe i forgot one thing in this the ysly live you also do get ginger i knew i was forgetting something that's also providing that effervescent snap that like um, a little bit more sweetness, but it's more effervescent and brighter. That's what reminded me whenever I was saying that this one is bright and that Ambroxan is giving off this like brighter effervescent woods. That is what you get with Y Live, but just with ginger. So this one has Ambroxan, amber wood. It's an amber woody heavy fragrance. Um, it's compared to your um, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce and then also uh, Mont Blanc Legend. And again, those ones last five hours. They're designer um, blends. They smell great. I can give them that. But this one just, it lasts eight to, eight to nine hours, maybe a little bit less. I'd say maybe seven to eight hours. But it's the best smelling. It's the highest quality. You can tell the notes in these are natural. And you can find this for a really good price when you find it on a Joma Shop sale or, or a fragrance. You can get them for this size bottle for like 140, 130 bucks. So definitely try that out. Percival, fantastic for the spring. Um, you can wear that in pretty much any situation, just like all of these, but I just find them better for the spring. Um, it's those aromatic tones and a little bit of a green texture that all of these have. Uh, the last one here is the cheap one in the bunch. It won a lot of awards back in the day when it was released, but it's only about 20 bucks. Uh, this is Rochas Loam or Loam Rochas. <laughs> I, I always get confused because it says Loam Rochas, but the company's Rochas and it's Rochas Lohomi. So this one, another one is super easy to explain. So it's an Ambroxan Juniper Heavy Fragrance that has um, bits of um, orange, it has bits of pineapple, it has some aromatics flowing through there, but if you really want to just dumb it down, it is really an Ambroxan Juniper style fragrance. It has, it's fruity. It's a lot, it's more fruity than most of the ones that I've talked about. It's on par with this one as far as how fruity it is, but it's a different style of fruit. You can sense the fruitiness in this one better because of all the things there are going on. They're mostly the aromatic or woody tones that are underneath it. And then you have your pineapple, your blood orange, your uh, juniper all floating around the top while you have those woods and aromatics really separated underneath. As you get to the dry down, you get a little bit of an ambery sweetness that comes in, but for the most part, it stays the same. It lasts six to seven hours. One of the best blues for the price, if not the best blue for the price, definitely spring centric. You spray it on and it's that juniper. I think there's the recurring theme in all of these is there's juniper. There's juniper in this, there's juniper in the chrome, there's juniper in that, juniper in this and juniper in that. So I think that's the recurring theme. That's why I like all these for the spring. There's a thing, something about juniper in blue fragrances that really does come off to me as more of a spring style fragrance because it's almost that green fruitiness. Um, and that is what you also get in this, but just a lot more heavy. So this is the 50 milliliter. Um, fantastic. That is Rochas Loam. 
Let me know what your favorite blue fragrances to wear during the spring are. And again, I'll be back with another video. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.